All right, folks, um, Mr. Hansen here. I want to show you guys an alternate strategy for uh, creating your crane strain design uh, CAD model in Onshape. Um, this is going to be a little more advanced. So if you're someone who's struggling with uh, learning how to use Onshape, um, I'd suggest looking at the other uh, tutorial video I've posted. Uh, it's a little more straightforward to work through. Um, but for this particular design, I'm going to use something called a derived part to lay out my crane in a part studio instead of using an assembly. Um, and before I do that, I'm going to make a slight modification to some of my materials just to make it easier to assemble those. And so here I've got my uh, you know, craft sticks cut to different lengths. Uh, I'm just going to modify the full craft stick. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my sketch. I'm going to hit L for lined, Q for construction, and I'm going to drop a construction line going all the way through this craft stick. So right through the middle. Um, that's going to let me do a nice little trick here. Um, if you go up to like the uh, search tool, uh, search for a mate connector, you can actually create your own custom mate connector. So I'm going to select mate connector, and I want to put a mate connector right there on the very end of this craft stick. There we go. Um, so that's the origin of my make connector. And I want this part to own that make connector. And so that creates a place where I can connect these popsicle sticks uh, end to end. Let me add another one to the other end of this popsicle stick. So again, I want to highlight that line. Uh, so I got the endpoint selected. Under owner part, I want to click that craft stick, bam, now I've got um, two make connectors that I can use to join things together. Uh, so let's take a look at actually uh, using this. So I've got a uh, part studio called Layout Sketch. Uh, that's empty. Uh, there's, you know, there's nothing in here. Um, but since I kind of want to design around the existing tower that we already have, um, I can use something called a derived part. So again, you can search for derived. Uh, that's the easiest way to find it. Uh, I'm going to find my uh, tower crane base. And I'm just going to insert that whole thing into my part studio. And that's similar to inserting a, um, inserting a part into an assembly, except here uh, it, it's not separate pieces. This is all one big chunk of stuff uh, in my part studio. So I can't really edit this too much. Uh, but what I can do is now uh, create layout sketches and insert derived parts for my popsicle sticks to actually design the crane around this base. Uh, so let me take a look at that. Let me go ahead and create a new sketch. I'm going to sketch on the side of my uh, mast, the, the tower sticking out of here. And what I'm going to sketch here is not uh, individual popsicle sticks, but little construction lines representing how I want to try and lay out those popsicle sticks. So for example, um, let me hit line, let me hit Q for construction tool. Let's say I want like a, a popsicle stick coming. Oops, selected the arc tool. I'm going to cross the top here so I can place that. Uh, let me put a midpoint. Let's say I want this centered on the mast on the tower. Um, so I'm going to place a point there at the middle. Use the midpoint tool to make that midpoint. The midpoint of the tower. And of course, I want to set the dimension of this line to represent what the actual popsicle stick is. So I'm going to set that to 4.5 inches. And so there would represent a popsicle stick sitting on uh, the top of that mast. And so now I can create more lines for you know more popsicle sticks. Um, so maybe I want this to be, let's say, about three and a half popsicle sticks uh, sticking out. Um, I'm going to use the equals constraint up here in the constraints menu to make all of those lines equal to that 4.5. And this is going to be a nice, easy way of constructing trusses that might at, be at like slightly weird angles. So for example, if I want to do something coming down 
like this, at, you know, weird angles. So it hits the mast. Again, I can go use my equal constraints to try and square things up. And I got that guy stuck to be horizontal. I don't think I want that, so I'm going to delete that sketch entity so I can make this more of an angle. Let me do one more going down here to here. And so now these represent like a popsicle stick, so I can kind of play around with the angles they're at. It's like that guy snapped to horizontal too. And it makes it real easy to kind of play with your design rather than punching in numbers or being stuck to a particular assembly. Let's see, maybe I don't like that guy there. Let me just stick one in here that's gonna be kind of a custom uh, length that I'll have to figure out at a later point. Now you can go in and add angle dimensions between these popsicle sticks if you wanna like shore up what the actual design looks like. I'm trying to make kind of like a little arch out of these popsicle sticks. So that looks pretty close. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with that. Um, and so now let me save that sketch. So I've got kind of a rough sketch of what I want my um, layout to be. Let's go ahead and add, while I'm at it, add in some uh, trusses as well. Let's go from the midpoint over here, up here. We'll just make some We'll make some triangular trusses. And I want some of these to be a uh, whole popsicle stick. So I'm just gonna equal them to something that is a whole popsicle stick. And the rest of these will be uh, you know, custom lengths that I'll cut. But this will let, give me an idea of how this thing is gonna be laid out. Let's put a little piece in here. There we go. All right. Uh, so now I can use that derived parts tool to actually go in and start putting in those parts to see what this looks like. So uh, let me let me go to the search tool, get derived uh, under my materials tab. Let me get my full craft stick, and you'll notice that'll drop it uh, right in the origin, uh, which is. Okay, I guess. Uh, but we need to move this up to our actual uh, layout over here. And so the easiest way to do that is using the transform. And this does geometric transformations like you might study in geometry. Uh, but here we can actually use mate connectors uh, to be the points where I'm gonna line up to move stuff. So I'm gonna transform by mate connectors. And I'm actually gonna click copy part and that'll leave a fresh copy of this popsicle stick that I can uh, you know, transform and place again uh, when I'm done. So I'm going to select this full craft stick down here. I'm going to go from make connector. So I want to see if I can select, I might have to hide my base and my supports. There we go. Um, see if I can get the make connector I made in my materials studio. And I want to mate that with, with these lines up here. And so you'll notice when you highlight over a point, if you got the line selected, uh, you'll get a make connector at the end point. And that should line it up. You might have to rotate it around uh, pretty much perfectly uh, with, yeah, with the um, a layout sketch that I've got. And so we can do this multiple times. And I can even transform the popsicle stick that I've already got here. So let me do a transform this guy. Uh, copy part. I want to transform by make connectors. Uh, 
I'll tell you what. Let me go back down here and get the one that I previously used. So from make connector, and this in to the make connector, I can highlight the line and that should give you the make connector at the endpoint. And you have to rotate that around because the orientation here is a little bit backwards. Um, and like I said, that's just a you know, quick, easy way to lay out your uh, popsicle stick bridge. And again, like I can line stuff up with the trusses. Um, I can let's see. I think I've, that one's a custom link, so I can't use a full popsicle stick there. Uh, let, let's keep going. I'm gonna see what I can design with this. You're welcome to watch, or I, uh, you know, give it a shot with your own design. Uh, I should say the thing I like about this particular strategy uh, is that'll let you do angles pretty easily. So you'll notice if you've tried doing the assemblies inside uh, an assembly tab, uh, you may have to do like revolute joints between the, the popsicle sticks to get them at the, like the angles you want, especially if you got like a lot of weird angles, like, like I do ha I have in this design. Um, this is going to let me uh, place those sticks at an angle based on how I have my layout sketch. And my layout sketch is real easy to make those custom angles. Um, oop, I didn't, you know what? I didn't make a copy in that last one. Uh, it's really easy to do those custom angles because I'm just drawing lines in my layout sketch. All right. Uh, hopefully, y'all get the idea. If you want to try this strategy for laying out your bridge, or your excuse me, your crane strain design, uh, you know, knock yourself out. Um, I do want to emphasize: there's always you know more than one way of doing things. Um, find whatever way works for you. And I would suggest doing it that way.